hi guys welcome back to my channel it's G from happiness and crafting um, it's Friday today so it's a Friday freebie um, so if you're a member of my group on Facebook um, you can print this off um, and there are a few other Friday freebies on there as well um, so I thought I'd show you what I've been making with them so I've got four tags anyway but first of all I just want to show you a quick flip through of my new kit so just in case you want to see what's in it so I'm going to give you a quick flip through this has come out a little bit lighter because again I'm using my Canon printer not my HP printer because I haven't got any ink um, so I do believe it's a little bit lighter um, than one you, what you will probably get depending on your printers so this is Shabby Shades of Pink and it's actually gorgeous so just a quick flip through so you can see what you get um, and I absolutely love these kits because um, they're really really pretty gorgeous roses really pretty feminine colours on here so you get six um, main pages four um, backing pages um, which you can use to print on the back of the pages if you wanted to um, and then we get six of the postcards so uh, these are just the the main pages um, shrunk down into postcard sizes and that's the other two and then we've got some lovely little embellishments there and then on this one we've got some more embellishments um, these uh, butterflies these are slightly smaller so these actually fit on top so you can layer them up which is nice and then we've got some lovely bigger embellishments there and then on this one these are some pretty pretty little pockets on there and some more embellishments so I shall be making something out of that soon so let's get on with these tags so this is what I've been making I'm making some little tag envelopes um, so something a little bit different so you can actually make the tags and decorate them so I've made them sort of like quite plain colors so they do actually blend into with quite a few of your journals or projects um, and I've just made them into little envelopes so I thought they were really pretty so I'm going to show you how I did that very quick and very easy um, I've already printed them out here not printed them out cut them out ready and what I'm going to do is get my ink so it's the vintage photo that I always use so get a little bit of the ink on here and I'm just gonna just go around the edges so again you can pick whatever colors you want to go around the edges whatever ink you have or that you don't have if you don't want to do it you don't have to I'm just going to go around the top here because you'll see this bit underneath because that's a little envelope for that bit so let's just ink around here quickly and you don't have to you, you can do it with any tag shape you can make your own you don't have to have these um, so you can just cut them out quite easy and they're really really um, a quick little project for you to do to add to a little journal or something a little bit more ink did I do the underside of that one yes so we've got four nice ones so you could have so you could have <coughs> a little tag and a little pocket a little envelope pocket actually what you could do let me put this back on here so it's just the tag that we use for this one this one you could have that attach it to the bottom so you could have two tags and then if you attached it just stuck around the edges like that you could have a little pocket two little pockets in there and that would look nice wouldn't it and each one you could have it matching so if you printed them off twice you could pop them on there like that that would look quite pretty wouldn't it so I'm going to just show you how to make these anyway because they're really simple so all as you do you bend them over like this so you just fold them in three so just eyeball it to see how far you want to fold it up like that and then fold that down over the top easy peasy and then you've got a lovely little envelope and then we can do that with all of them so just fold it up and then fold that over 
You can decorate them if you want to do all around the edges, but because they're um, sort of collage, they're sort of like, it's not very straight, is it? Because I sort of like did a collage um, pattern on the back, you don't have to decorate them. So they look really nice as they are. They're sort of like um, flowers, they've got roses and script and little spotty paper and they're really, really nice. down. Not very good at folding today. And then this one. The reason I did it is because this one's scalloped and it looked like a top of an envelope. Um, so that's why I made them into little, little envelope pockets. And then that just folds down like that. Easy peasy. So, and then what I'm going to do, I'm just going to just darken up the top and the bottom, like that. And then I'm going to just glue them together. And again, if you wanted to sew all the way around it, um, you can sew them. But I don't think you really need to bother sewing them, actually. Because it's just such a quick little... Um, project to do. Now I've got my um, Anita's Tacky Glue in here so what I'm going to do I'm just going to quickly just squidge a bit if I can. No I've just used this and it's dried up already. There we go. That's it. It's not very level is it? This just goes through there and then squidge it down like that. So we do that on all of them. Down the sides. Use whatever glue you've got. You could even, if you didn't want to glue them, you could put up a couple of little staples down the side. That would make it look a little bit different, wouldn't it? Squidge it down. And then the last one. Okay, so there we go. We've got four lovely little envelopes now. And I'm going to put this on top here so it doesn't dry out. I think it's got a hole in it. I don't know why it keeps drying out. Right, so on these I've actually popped little buttons and um, this is like a little bit of lace and a little sticky on pearl here. And of course we've got some other... Um, um, what's it called? Cheesecloth on there with a little... Um, rows on there so what i've got i've got a nice big selection of things here because i just want to show you how you can change the color because these take a lot of color if you know what i mean i haven't folded that very straight but never mind so you can see this is like a little red button these are like little wooden buttons um, so that's like a red one and then i've got a green one which the green goes really nicely as well um, and then you can also have pink so they blend in with quite a few colors on here so whatever sort of like journal you're doing um, you could add a li little accent color to match in that's our wonderful little roses so don't you think they look pretty if you wanted something a bit fancy and even something like blue goes really well so they really do blend in and if you wanted something even like a little pair of scissors hanging off there if you've got like a a sewing journal you could put a little brad through there and have a little pair of scissors hanging off and we've got brown and the red so i think they just blend in so well with many many colors so that's really good so what shall we have i quite like this big fussy one i think it needs to go on the bigger one like that so what i'm going to do 
just going to use a three in one and stick this on. So I'm just going to stick that on there like that. So we've got some nice little fancy envelopes. And they look pretty. So what should we have? On these ones, all I did, I've got a little bit of thread and popped it through because they're buttons and tied it in a little knot there and stuck it on. And if you wanted to go a little bit shabby on here, pop a little bit of that and a little rose. That would look pretty, wouldn't it? So just get all your little odds and ends out as well. If you've got even bits of lace. And little odds and ends of things. Let's squish that down so it sticks in. shall we put on this one? Shall we put this lovely feather? It's like a feather button. That looks nice, doesn't it? So I think once I can get back to the post office, I can't quite yet, but I will be. I'm sure everything's going to be opening up a bit better soon. But because I've got mum here, I can't risk going out. Um, so these will be eventually going out as um, some little freebies to you all. I'm going to put that on there. That's nice and big and pretty, isn't it? Look at that. Oops. Stuck to my nail. There we go. Look how quick and easy was that. And they go in with all sorts because I was looking at my... Let's have a look. I've got this journal here which is the um, vintage collage collection and these go lovely with that as well um, so they're all the right nice colours um, and this one is the shabby shabby rose I think and these are the these all blend in really well so um, if you've got all these papers um, you will be able to use them all together um, which is really nice Oops, that's just popped out of my bag there. So there we go, guys. There's a little um, project for you to do over the weekend. And these are what they come out like. So again, um, which is the one? I think it's this one, isn't it? That can fit on there like that. No, it's not. It's that one. You can pop them on the end so you've got like a little pocket on the tag, which would look nice and you open it up. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed that. Please pop over to the group. Um, I'd like you to be a subscriber of my YouTube channel first, which would be nice. And then we can share all um, the projects on there and everything you make for the freebies. And I would love to see them. Alright, well I take care. Um, I hope you have a lovely weekend. Stay safe um, and I will speak to you soon. Alright guys, bye bye.